So this is a tour of the Martin A. Palmer Observatory, or MAPO, where I've done most of my work down here. So you can see that that's where the telescope is up there. To the left is the old ground shield from a number of experiments, including our experiment. That did some excellent measurements of uh, fine features of the CMB before they were antiquated by the South Pole Telescope over here. And to the right up there is the uh, bicep uh, ground shield and mount. We hope to install a different experiment there next year. But for now, let's have a look around inside of here. Bottom floor here is a basically a machine shop, a very nice one. There's also a trap door that lets us haul hardware upstairs. So we normally have a uh, in-house machinist who helps us with things, but he's currently out on vacation back in Tasmania, so we're on our own here. That's all right. So this sign here essentially summarizes what I know about this Martin A. Pomeritz fella. Hello. Jack Nicholson. <laughs> Hello, Howard. It's our grad student who's promised to behave himself while I record this. So you can hear that squeaking noise, which is the sound of our pulse tubes making these cameras cold. These are two of the five cameras that we would normally have up on the mount, but they're in the lab being retrofitted. So that system is essentially compressing helium, sending it down to our cold electronics, and then expanding to absorb heat and then being sucked back out to, uh, to the room temperature stage. So this is our lab where we do a lot of our our testing and integration work. Fairly cozy given that we sometimes have three or four of these things in here and then maybe six or seven people working on it. We have a spare room off the side here. This is actually not ours. We have to give up pretty soon. There's another team that arrived today. So we have a lot of hardware we have to pull back in here. So as we walk out this way, over to the actual mount, we're actually entering a separate building with a separate electrical system, which makes it much, much better noise for us. So here's where the actual telescope is. Up on this platform, you can even see it moving up there. So you can see there are two cameras installed currently. And the other three are down the lab. And this whole thing is scanning back and forth. And just up through there is outside. So this whole platform is rotating parallel to the horizon or an azimuth. There's also gears here that allow it to move up in elevation. And finally, those cameras there can spin around boresight as well. And again, you can hear the pulse tubes making a lot of noise. So let's go outside. Oh, there we go. Oh, hi. Yeah, this is Howard. He's gonna take us up on the roof and show us around.
Yeah, this is our telescope. This is the ground view. Yep. We probably shouldn't go inside since it's taking measurements. You're probably right. Yes. <laughs> so you can see the telescope is scanning. And we have two out of five. That's right. Up there in the mountain. So this thing basically scans back and forth parallel to the horizon and then it steps up or down in elevation and repeats. And we are right looking... Right now it's looking at the source up there. That's right. There's a source on a mast. We're using this to map out our beams so we can understand whether or not our cameras are responding to stray radiation at weird angles. It is cold here. It is very cold here. So that's Mapo. Bye. Say goodbye, Howard. Goodbye.